So I heard y'all want to be sneakerheads. Y'all want to start a shoe collection. Y'all want to be in the shoe game. Well, let me give you some tips. Let me tell y'all my experience. And we're going to chop it up. So just sit back. Get something to drink. Get some snacks. Relax. And enjoy Chaseway. So let me start it out on a basic on a basic scale thing. Start by becoming a sneakerhead. You can buy all sorts of brands, but I'm a, we're gonna take this slow. Slow, you hear me? Start with something under seventy-five dollars. Vans, Chuck Taylors, uh, flip-flops, sandals, Nike slides. Start simple. Start collecting those. Find whatever you like to do. Some. They are, it's always gonna be some simple that you can rock with, multiple colorways, always gonna be in a mall. Don't have to wait for it, unless it's something exclusive. But start simple if you're trying to start, if you're trying to start a sneaker collection. Now, another thing to start a sneaker collection, I know after you gains all your colorways, years go by, progresses, you wanna switch it up. Check out Nike ID, cause you can come up with some pretty nice colorways, and you can also have your name on the back. I don't know if the camera is picking that up or not. But hopefully it is. You can have your name on the back of your shoe, and you can be able to customize on whatever colors they allow you to do it on that colorway. So, start a basic with starting under seventy-five dollars. Now you're getting into pricey with customizing your shoe. But over time, you're building your collection. Being a sneakerhead, a Jordan head, there's, okay, let's break let's break that down. A sneakerhead, you are buying Reeboks. You are buying Asics. You are buying Jordan. You are buying Adidas. You are buying any brand that you want to buy. You want to buy, sorry. And you just start collecting. That's it. That's the basic of that. But we're going to go on more in depth. Then after you start doing that, you start leaning towards the way of being a hype beast. Then you start watching release dates on when certain shoes come out. Then you start camping out for shoes to make sure that you can get them. Then you start understanding the history behind the shoe. Then you want to go out there and get it. And then you start getting on the wave and you start shooting things up and starting putting other things in your pockets. But also, you keep it simple and you wanna do something for yourself and you wanna see what you can do because you watch YouTube videos and you feel like you can connect your mind on a product and you see a vision, which you can start going into customizing your own shoe, adding your own flavor. This might look regular, but I gave it my own sauce. I gave it my own sauce. And so let's talk about these things. Start off simple, then you go to customizing your shoes on the website from different brands, and then you go to you want to be a sneakerhead. So you start collecting different brands. Then after that, you want to be a hype beast. You start collecting the things that are talked about or you start going on different shoe well sites, J23 is back. Uh, you start looking at the Nike release, get the Nike app. Then you start checking out when certain shoes drop. You start, you start being more attentive in the sneaker community. Then you start branching out and start hearing those conversations in the shoes. And you start already lining up your paychecks for what shoes is about to come out. You start sacrificing. Well, if you're in high school and you got a mama like me and she says she ain't paying for nothing, you got to start sacrificing some of the meals to make sure you get some of them shoes. Especially them J's that's dropping once a, well, once a day, to be honest, it seemed like it. But back in my time, which was like, dang, 
six years ago. Not even that long. Five years, six to five years. You have to sacrifice when you start working. The, the dollar that you make there, you have to start putting it back and not go overboard or you're not gonna have enough to buy them shoes. And then once you get a consistent paycheck and you start having money left over from saving, paying gas, paying your phone bill, paying the cost of living in the house, then you can enjoy yourself or you can go to your local boutique stores or consignment shops and start looking at their beetle box or start paying attention to the sale shoes and start growing your collection that way. I'm really dropping this knowledge on y'all. I'm dropping some great knowledge. And I'm also referring to my situation. What I mean by this, all the things that I'm saying in this video, I went through it. 10th grade year, I wasn't into shoes as much. I was into shoes, but I wasn't heavy. By the end of my 10th grade year, I got into morning Jordans. Uh, 11th grade year came, I was into Converse, had five pair. I was into forces. I wanted Jordans, but guess what? I didn't have the funds. So what happened? I got these on my birthday. Mama said, I'm not buying you no more Jordans. That was $200. Cool. August, September, October came and I was like, you know what? I'm 16 now. I want a job. She was like, cool. Tired for Sears. Got a job. Started working. November and December, I was working, starving, sacrificing, only drinking sodas during my lunch break to make sure I got my joys. And back when I was working, well, when I first started working, uh, George was only coming out twice a month. So it was popping back then, but it wasn't popping. And they, they was just 160 coming out to be 173 and some change after taxes. So I had a break right there. Then 11th grade hit. Kind of a job, but not really. So I still had all my converses, a few forces, a few Jordans, and that was it. 11th grade year, wasn't really, I was into shoes, but I really couldn't get no shoes, only for birthdays, Christmas, and what else? Easter, that's it, that's it. So I had to preserve my shoes, wearing different things, then spares. Go buy some spares, the best thing. When I say if you don't want to put wear and tear on your sneakers, buy some spares. Best thing. Senior year at King had a consistent job working every week. Now that's when it got real. That's when my sneaker collection grew. Your sneaker collection is gonna grow. How? Patient. Patience. Patient. Patience. That's it. Being patient and having patience. You gotta be patient with the process. You gotta have patience with your process. You're gonna get the shoes that you want, because guess what? Prices decrease. People need their uh, money more than their shoes. Or you're gonna become a reseller. You're gonna become a buyer or a seller. That's just how this sticker game goes. And then you got the middlemen, just the collectors that don't want to do nothing besides buy. So you're on the buyer side, or you gonna trade. But SneakerCon, thanks to SneakerCon and other sneaker uh, opportunities and sneaker shows, trading made everything possible. But let me get back on my starting sneaker collection topic. So over time, you're gonna start looking at other brands and wanna venture out. You're gonna wanna start knowing more. Well, you're gonna start paying attention to different stories about certain shoes. These are the draft pick ones. Favorite player, Allen Iverson shoes. Then you're gonna start looking at, hmm, Asian shoes in style. You're gonna start 
gravitating to something new. Then you're gonna have a company that designs something new and you're gonna have a new technology on the market and you're gonna wanna change it up and grab a pair and you wanna become fashionable. Then you're gonna wanna get creative. I don't know if I said this already, but we're gonna see. Then you wanna get creative and see your name on the back of a shoe. Just that simple. You can do this. This this is something real easy. Go to Hobby Lobby, get some stickers, go get an iron on thing, bam. You just turned the $85 project to a hundred dollar shoe, but now it's now it's yours and you want it. Then what else? Gonna become a high beast. And then you're gonna be getting quick strike shoes. You're gonna be looking on a different websites like in clothing. What else? What else is out there? Uh, dang, it's been a while since I've been in the sneaker game. But I feel like it was on my heart to get drop some knowledge, drop some gems. I know there's some young ones out there that want to know how to start a sneaker collection, so that's why you click this video. But overall, once you get a certain age and your priorities change, I ain't even gonna go into all that. I ain't about to kick that knowledge. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all just wanna have fun and enjoy your sneakers. And I feel you. But I hope this video helped you out. And make sure y'all leave a like. And I know y'all enjoyed this video. And make sure y'all have a good day. And I'ma see y'all in another video. Chase who is out this thing. Peace. Thank you.